Hello, welcome to a new podcast and or mini podcast, Spanning Stanley Tucci. I'm Hannah. Tooch. <laughs> I'm David. Uh, and today we're talking about Stanley Tucci, the Tooch. Are the Toochinator, the, the original Tooch, uh, the one and only Tooch. Right. We all stand a king, an absolute Truly. king. An absolute king. Um, I hope everyone who who is watching this uh, on YouTube, I'm sorry to our podcast listeners, but uh, you're going to miss out on the absolute beefcake that was Stanley Tucci uh, in the 80s. Continues to be. We have have pictures of the beefcake as he was in 84, where his hair is starting to go a little bit. He's in, uh, what kind of jeans are they? They're like 501 Levi's or something. Levi's, the classics. Yeah. And he's wearing a, you know, a wife beater and he's... Yeah. He's Dancing around in the streets of New York. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have the iconic, the recent, uh, the Negroni, the, uh, the, the Tooch Makes You a Drink video that went viral recently. Mwah. Mwah. It's, it, is, it is pretty mwah. It is pretty magnifique. Stanley Tucci is just like this bizarre enigma of an actor because he's in a ton of things, but it's very rare that he is like the lead, you know, like he, he often plays like, like characters or supporting characters in a lot of roles, at least as far as like I've seen. Right. And then to totally contradict that, this man is an auteur, all right? He is a writer, director, producer, an mm-hmm. actor with an or, you know? He's not he's not just some guy who acts, you know? Yeah. He's an yeah. actor's actor. He does oh, yeah. comedies, he does dramas, he does horror, he does, he does sci-fi. Indie. He does blockbuster. He do, you know, he is everywhere. Right. He I mean, I think in terms of like star studies, you can't get like a more versatile actor <laughs> than Tooch. At least yeah. unless you're unless you're gonna go to you know your real like a listers and I mean he's won awards he's yeah. won tons of Emmys because he steals yeah. the show that's oh, yeah. what he does he'll come in he'll do sure. a guest spot and then boom that's that's the Emmy all right right exactly yeah no I, like like he's he's incredible like we are not here to besmirch Stanley Tucci's good name in any way in fact we are here to uh, to bring to, to Stan and to hopefully convince you to also stand the Stan Lee Tucci. Um, right. If for, for some insane reason you don't already. Truly, truly insane. Um, and, and, you know, also for our own edification, digging into just like the array of things that he has participated in. Right, because there's so many obscure ones. I mean, there's, there's so nobody... Many. There might not be anyone on earth who's actually watched them all before. I, I doubt even Stan himself, Stan the man himself. <laughs> has watched all of the watched, things that he's been in. I'm almost positive that he hasn't because, of course, he does a lot of voice work. Um, and people who do voice work tend to come in, do, you know, <laughs> 10 episodes all in a row, and then just kind of duck out. Peace and out. never look at it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll find out, uh, how much of his own work he has and hasn't seen as we, we travel down this journey together. But every journey, uh, begins at, at birth. And so we're going to go <laughs> back, back to the beginning. Every journey <laughs> begins at birth. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> like, you are not wrong. Um, and, and Tucci <laughs> does have, you know, somewhat of an interesting upbringing uh, and an interesting rise to, to prominence. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's begin. Yeah, so he, he's born in, in New York in Peekskill. That's uh, the other reason that I would like to stand, is he is yeah. one of these original New Yorker types. Yeah. And he's not, you know, he's not one of these fakers like Midwesterns. you have, who moved <laughs> oh, to... Oh my God. From the suburbs, he's a he's a born and <laughs> well, you know. well, it's peak skill. It's not like right. 
you know that's that's in westchester you know like if you're gonna call westchester real new york i have some people who are gonna pick a bone with you but uh it's fine (laughs) well so yeah he's from new york uh and you know is clearly from uh italian descent Uh, i don't know if you know that tucci is an italian last name and that uh, a lot of his or if stanley has an italian face (laughs) <laughs> and Italian eyebrows, and not to stereotype, but Italian muscles and hairy arms. Oof. He's got it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's the oldest of three children. Uh, he, his sister. He's a junior. Did you know that he's a, he's a he's a Stan Tucci Junior. <laughs> he is indeed. Uh, his his sister is also an actress. Um, and, and he, you know, comes from a very connected family. His, uh, cousin, Joseph Tropiano, which again, just like truly very Italian, uh, is also a screenwriter. Um, and, and, you know, he spent <laughs> very, a year living- very connected in that the two of them wrote a screenplay together. And I think that's like most of what he's done. <laughs> I have no idea what he's done. <laughs> I haven't gotten there. I'm also following Stanley Tucci's career in uh, in right. chronological well, they, they, order. Yeah, they work together, and that was the um, the one that the, the the screenplay that they did together. That was the one that uh, Stan got his award for screenwriting from. There you go. Uh, so maybe so it's all the cousin. Maybe maybe he's the real talent. The f- <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, but also he, I think it's I think it's cool that his friend. Campbell Scott, son of uh-huh. George C. Scott, and they grew up and they were actors together. And then it was he ended up dating his best friend's sister-in-law, and then they got married, and that's how he met his his first wife. <laughs> Much later. Uh, yeah. Okay. Again, I'm. I, we're just really going off of uh, the Wikipedia article on this, so please fact check us if something in here is not correct. Uh, but according to Wikipedia, he gave Ving Rhames the nickname Ving when they yeah, were. Yeah, they both... went to they went to SUNY together in yeah. SUNY Purchase. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, before that, he was Irving. So if you want to, you know, the Tooch gave him the Ving name. Yeah, there would be no Ving. There would only be Irving. Irving. And that's just not a very, you know, cool name. So so that's 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 the early life of the Tooch. Um right. what what have we got beginnings of career, David? How how did this all kick off? Oh, uh, well, you know, he he started out modeling, which I think it should be obvious. I mean, look at yeah. him. Yeah. Look. And so look, yeah, we've got one of the the early commercials that he did. But of course, yeah. you know, when he was acting in school and, and at SUNY, I mean, he, he got high marks and there was people, you know, saying, you're going places, kid. So, you know, it wasn't long before he found himself on the set of his, his first feature film. Yeah. Uh, by with the name of Fritzi's Honor. Fritzi's Honor. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mafia movie. Starring Could it have been Jack- anything else? Starring Jack Nicholson, though. Right. And, like, it's, this movie is wild. If, if anyone has questions about, like, romance movies that where they're like, oh, the romance in this is so rushed, please watch this <laughs> mob movie where, like, people fall in love in, like, an afternoon. It's, it's truly absurd. It's the, it's the, I spy someone across, a, uh, you know, a crowded a church. room. Yeah. And uh, and instantly, boom, I fell just like that. Right, and then I fly to California, and then it turns out she is also works as, like, a hitman for other mobs. So we should just get married. Right. And their whole relationship lasts, like, three weeks, and that's the entire movie. And it's, it's ridiculous. That's the movie. Directed by John Huston, and uh, also co-starring... His daughter Angelica Houston, uh, who yes. you might know from the Adams family or the Adams family values. I, I do have to say, love Angelica Houston, horrible Italian accent. It's <laughs> so bad. Everyone's Italian accent in this movie is atrocious. Jack Nicholson should never have worked again. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, but so let's talk about the Tooch in this movie. We had a lot of trouble finding him. Like this is his it first was, credited it role. It was his first credited role. He, he, it's not a speaking part. No. He's credited as a, a soldier, which, you know, in the mafia terms is like a mook, you know, just like a guy, one of the soldiers. No, yeah, he's, he's your muscle. He's your, yeah. your underling. He's not a general or a capo, you know. He's, <laughs> right. He's your guy. He's not the Don. Um, I mean, this is all, let's take a break from being extremely stereotypically Italian. I mean, I mean the movie a, is so stereotypically Italian, like. Right, but but what's great about the Tooch is that he has sort of stepped beyond his stereotype. He's not one of these Italian actors who gets shoehorned in to the right. mafia movie over He's and over not your and over De again. Niro's. But you're going to see a lot in his early roles. It's a lot of, you know, dock worker, swarthy Italian dudes, swarthy guy, uh, you know, guy, guy, you know you know, just working guy, Italian guy. And, yeah. and and it's a lot of mafia stuff too. When his first like big roles on TV, we're, we're going to get to those. They're going to be in like crime shows as yeah. a mob guy. But right. he quickly defines himself as outside of that. And so yeah. I like to believe that even in these early roles, he was thinking beyond. He was characterizing himself as, you know, someone with a lot of a deep internal world wouldn't you say mm-hmm. so yes so even though sure. we couldn't see him necessarily we could <laughs> feel his presence <laughs> yeah in the feel film. It just effusing it um and that's we, why i knew when i did see him even <laughs> though he was like behind jack nicholson's head that i would feel uh the the, the tooch the, the yeah. magic tooch <laughs> So he still had his hair in this scene. We're right. pretty sure. We're uh, pretty sure. He's he's like smoking cigars. I'm pretty sure because even though, all right, and bear with me, he there are three guys smoking cigars in that opening scene at the wedding. Yeah. And then halfway through the movie, there's other guys smoking cigars, and in the credits, you can see that there's five credits for cigar smoker numbers one through five. So they're trying to trick you into thinking those three cigar smokers in the first scene are the cigar smokers, but they're not. They're the soldier and then two other guys. Okay. All right. Um, And one of them was Tooch. Handsome Tooch. Handsome, handsome Tooch. (laughs) (laughs) And he doesn't show up again for the rest of the movie, of course. No. No. But what was but what was going on in his head while he had this Mexican cigar? Uh, I was thinking, what a beautiful yeah. wedding. <laughs> so the bridesmaids and the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what a shame uh, the poor groom's bride is Jack Nicholson. <laughs> that would be quite a shock. <laughs> Here's Johnny, indeed. Um yeah, so that's his first film debut role is is uh that moment. That's the moment. Um, and then the next one was a TV movie. Uh, you know, not uh, not the best role, but it was in a one of the many TV movie adaptations of Kojak, uh, which is a CBS cop show. Am I am I right in that? Yes, you are correct. Did you did you get to watch any Kojak? <laughs> So Kojak is like $12 to watch anywhere online. And as much as I love the Tooch, I'm not spending $12 to see him for like three seconds. As tenant. <laughs> as tenant. Uh, so I did not, I did not watch the Tooch in Kojak. If any of you listening can find it, just a snap photo or of a the clip, Tooch as tenant. Please send it to us. We will we'll, pay we'll, you a handsome, a handsome prize <laughs> yeah, of well, less than eleven dollars <laughs> yeah so we'll give you two dollars <laughs> and or you get to pick a future talking tropes episode <laughs> that's your reward um <laughs> oh boy yeah so so that's 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 his first couple of roles uh is in kojak and uh prizzy's honor what yeah. I want to cover just one more because I do yeah. think that this is an example of his just 
sheer acting talent to Raw convey character power. with what I believe is his first speaking role, but at least his first speaking role in a feature film. For sure. Uh, and it is, oh, it is damn good. He says, <laughs> this is in the film, Who's That Girl? Starring Madonna and Griffin Dunn. Uh, yeah. It's one of those early Madonna movies that everyone hates and that no one ever liked and that never made any money. And uh, the, but he's in it. like a screwball comedy one. He's there to <laughs> elevate it. Right. He's there to elevate it because in one of the very first scenes, there's just this, this ship lifting a big box onto the docks and you don't know what's in the box. And what's there's in this the guy, box? The guy says, holy shit, we can't store that thing. To which Tucci replies, don't worry about it. They're sending somebody to pick it up. And that somebody is Griffin Dunn's character. The oh my lawyer. God. He introduces it. The he whole... sets up the most important MacGuffin in the film, which is a box with a cougar in it. I Not mean, a I feel lady, like... <laughs> a, a cat. I feel like that, that is his role in many a film, uh, <laughs> setting up the MacGuffin that other right. main characters chase after. And people often forget the MacGuffin setter-uppers, but this dock worker, this mm -hmm. dock worker number two, but number one in our hearts, <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> oh my God. Steals, he, he steals the show. He does. He does a great job. Um, meanwhile, he... He also um, <laughs> does some theater on the side. Of and I'm course, sure he's because he's a real power. actor. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get on board the Tooch train. Get on board the Tooch train. Tooch, Tooch. Um, yeah. And so, so, so we've only started with these, these three short uh, moments in the Tooch's career. Like his very, very early beginnings but right. what do we have we promise that there is plenty more to come we will yeah. see the rise of his beautiful friendship with uh uh with tony shalhoub <laughs> and with steve buscemi and all of the magnificent projects that they work on he has his own show that he is the host of where he samples fine wines with other celebrities that's the most Tucci thing. I love it. It's so good. He's a man of class. He's a man who always man. looks good, even in quarantine. Mm -hmm. he, is, he is Tooch. And, He's uh, iconic. And he, and absolutely iconic. And, uh, you know, we're going to really get into it in these next few. I, but, I swear. Freaking Tucci News! I don't. I, that was Welcome my news. to the newsstan. <laughs> title, title, tentative title. <laughs> um, but we're gonna call it the newsstan for now. Yeah. Uh, where we look at the latest in Stanley Tucci news. Of course, you all know when he went viral for that amazing Negroni vid that he filmed, uh, which was filmed directed by his his uh, lovely wife Felicity Blunt, uh, sister of Emily Blunt. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, but but the, the new headline that we're going to read to you, starting right now, is from Deadline. Stanley Tucci to star in Alejandro Amenabar's AMC series, La Fortuna. Sorry for butchering Alejandro Amenabar's name, but uh, that's the best I can do. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like you got there for the most part. Amenabar? Amenabar? Yeah. Amenabar. Um, and Amenabar. And then, well, and in any I'm... case, he's going to star in Oscar winner. It's an Oscar winning director, his first TV series, which is a co-production between know. AMC and Spain, España's KTV broadcaster, Movie Star Plus. So it's, uh, it's going to be, you know, a TV miniseries with the production values of a movie star plus original series. Yeah. 
I'm I'm ready. Uh, apparently, he's gonna play uh, Wild, which is uh, Frank Wild. Frank Wild. Uh, We're going and... Frank Wild for Tucci's performance. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, seems yeah, like it's... he is he is uh, the the villain of the piece. Uh, plundering, but but he's starring, so it's maybe he's an antihero. I don't know. It's it says uh, that it centers on diplomat Alex Ventura, who te- teams up with combative public official and brilliant American lawyer to recover treasure stolen by Frank Wilde, who travels oh. the world plundering historic items from the ocean. Oh, so he's a little bit of a Carmen San Diego. I guess. <laughs> Where in the world is he? Well, um, it seems like Alex Ventura is the Carmen San Diego. And Frank Wilde is the evil guy stealing all the treasure, and that's who Tucci's playing. No, Carmen San Diego in the original cartoon at least was the thief. Oh, is she a thief? Uh, that's right. I never watched I guess, the, the reboot, but well, in the know. reboot she starts out as a thief, but then like re- it's uh-huh. very it's very uh, Shira where she realizes that uh, steals, she oh, steals no, back. The thief thing is bad. Yeah, it basically steals things back for people. Right, um, stealing for good, just like yeah. the blacklist and um, leverage. Well, and leverage, <laughs> and also a million other shows and yeah. La Fortuna? Question mark. La Fortuna. Uh, we'll see. But it's based on Guillermo Corral's graphic novel El Tesoro del Cisne Negro, the treasure of the Black Swan. Dun, dun, so dun. that's pretty exciting. So, so that was from two weeks ago, but in some more, even more. Breaking Tooch news <laughs> from a week ago, also from Deadline. Uh, we find out that the San Sebastian Film Festival will be including uh, a movie that Stanley Tucci is in in their lineup this year. Uh, it's Harry McQueen's Supernova, which also stars Colin Firth. Wow! So uh, we can look forward to maybe hearing some award buzz. <laughs> from the San Sebastian Film Festival about our beloved Tooch. So why, why don't we finish up this episode uh, with just a, a rundown of our, how did we get into the Tooch? What was our first Tooch experience that we can remember? Oh, I clearly remember my first Tooch experience. Do you, do All right, you wait, let's say it is? at the same time and see okay. if it's the same one. One, one two, two, three. three. The Easy Devil Wears Prada. Dang. EZA is a great too, though. That Devil that was my first, came first. That was the first but, one where I really felt aware of the Tucci's oh, presence as a calming father figure. Oh, he's the best dad in that film. He is the star of that film. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. The whole joy of that film is just Stanley Tucci as a dad. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> but, but at the same time, the range that he's also yeah. the, you know, the, the. How would you describe him in, in the Horus Prada? Uh, the flamboyant, the caddy, stylish caddy. Yes. Yeah, the caddy, gay second in command of uh, runway or whatever it is. Right, the and fake. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there is backlash at at, uh, at him playing gay and playing it flamboyant, but. As far as I know, that is a beloved character in all (laughs) walks of life. Let me just say this. I am not in general a fan of the term metrosexual. It's it's a style, a trend. It it doesn't mean anything. But if there was one like man who embodied it, I would have to call out Stanley Tucci. Right. Because (laughs) because he is really attracted to the city of New York. Yeah. And that's what makes him a metrosexual is he likes to fuck subways. Yeah, um. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's it. He's, you got it. Um, no, no, but he is, he's, he is a man, he is simultaneously like a like buff, kind of like man's man in, in these very traditionally masculine ways, but oh, yeah, then think, simultaneously yeah. has these like very refined, like cosmopolitan tastes about things and, you know, that is that is what makes the tooch the tooch. It's right. It's if the, beautiful if cocktail. the queer eye guys showed up at Tooch's house, they would have absolutely nothing to offer. Nothing. Nothing to add. They yeah. would just be like, "You, you, 
you can have you can have the show. You can have it. Yeah. He's Too a man for the straight w- guy. <laughs> yeah. With style and grace and class and just a very articulate way of speaking. I, I right. I love the way yeah. he talks. It's great. Who does it? And uh, <laughs> and we're going to get to hear more of him because he's gonna have more than one line, I hope. Next oh time gosh. on Standing Stanley Tucci. <laughs> <laughs>